Now, the initrd is, is a directory that, that's also kind of used for the Linux kernel. That won't be looked at too much. The lib directory contains the libraries for all the different applications and things on the Linux system. The next two directories, media and mnt, or mount, those two directories are directories that contain mount points. Now, a mount point is the directory where a device or a drive is assigned. I said a few minutes ago that in Linux, hard drives and disk drives and, and floppy drives, for example, are assigned to directories. And these directories are, these assigned directories are usually contained within either the media directory or the MNT directory. If we were to open up the media directory here, we would see CD-ROM and, and floppy. These are the two directories that are assigned to the CD-ROM. Actually, this directory, CD-ROM0 and floppy0, are the actual mount points for those two devices. And then there are two additional links, floppy and CD-ROM, to those folders. The links are there just as the CD-ROM link seen at the very top of the root partition because some programs look for the CD-ROM under just slash CD-ROM, and other programs might look under slash media slash CD-ROM. So the Ubuntu developers place shortcuts in all the locations where they think that programs may be looking for the CD-ROM, all of which direct back to the slash media slash CD-ROM zero directory, since that is the original mount point. The OPT, or opt directory, often contains optional applications and programs. The proc directory is a directory that contains information about system processes. The root directory is sort of the home folder for the root user or the administrator. The sbin directory is, is like the bin directory. It contains binaries, that is, applications, but these are often system-level directories, excuse me, system-level applications only available to the root user. And then the SRV and sys directories are, are additional directories used sort of for low-level uh, system system things. The the temp directory is a temporary directory that that is often written to and then is is cleaned out when the system is rebooted. The USR directory uh, stands for Unix System Resources, and that is a directory oftentimes where that contains source code, perhaps, or documentation or other things. And the var directory is a directory that contains variable data, usually most often uh, log files that are kept by the system. So the Linux file system hierarchy is relatively straightforward once one kind of grasps the concept of drives being directories. So there is no C drive. If one has a, has a second hard drive, it would be under media or MNT, most likely. That is where the mount point or the directory that's assigned to that particular drive will be located. What's very handy about that is once one becomes very uh, used to this system is that one can then mount drives and and separate partitions wherever one wants. An example I often give is suppose one had a second hard drive containing music, MP3 files, and let's suppose this particular user, Joe, wanted this music available to him in his home directory. Well, Joe, for example, in his home directory, could create a folder uh, and call it music, let's say. And then in the system, he could set up his Ubuntu Linux to mount the hard drive, the second hard drive that contains his music, to this folder. So it would be almost a transparent or an invisible um, assigning of the drive to any folder on the system. It usually defaults to the media or the MNT directory, but one can always assign it elsewhere. So it would become very handy. Joe would just double click on this particular music folder and see the contents of that second hard drive right here as if that directory was actually contained within his home directory. It's a very handy way to do things and it's extremely powerful once one kind of gets used to the concepts. That is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.